Welcome to Pemi Craft Hut. In this video, we are going to make a macrame short wallet complete with multiple compartments. There's pocket for photo ID, multiple card slots, and banknotes. The way the wallet is constructed allows it to carry a thick stack of banknotes. The completed wallet will measure 12 cm wide, 10 cm in height, and 3.5 cm in depth. We start by constructing the main body of the wallet and we will be completely working with 2mm macrame cord. We will start with 1 piece of 250cm and 28 pieces of 350cm cords. Pin up the 250cm cord horizontally. Then using Lux head knot, we will have all the 28 pieces of 350cm cord attached to the middle of the horizontal cord. After Lux head knot, continue to make 109 rows of square knots. Once you have completed 109 rows of square knots, have your stitch marker pins ready or you may use any other pins to help you mark out 20 rows, 1 row, 20 rows, 6 rows, 20 rows, 1 row, 20 rows, 4 rows, and the last 18 rows. Following on, identify which surface you would like to use as the front and which surface you would like to use as the back. Thereafter, lay the front surface upwards and flip over the top end so that the underside is facing you now. Likewise, from the ends, get it flipped upwards as well. We have previously marked out 20 rows. In order to have the ends hidden neatly, have the cords slipped into either the 18th or the 19th row. Slip through two cords per knot. I will be using a piece of wire to help me through with the slipping of two cords per knot. After slipping through all the cords, we will pull and arrange them neatly. Tie a knot with every two cords and cut the end. Continue for the rest of the cords. After completing, it will look like this. Flipped over the wallet. And we will be constructing the photo ID pocket next. We will be using one piece of 60cm cord and 63 pieces of 25cm cords. Have the 60cm cord placed out horizontally. Then using Lux head knot, tie up only 62 pieces of the 25cm string. Leave out the last string to be tied on later. I have reused some of the earlier cutout strings, that's why some are looking short. Again, using stitch marker pins, mark out 10 knots, 12 knots, 20 knots, 12 knots and the rest 8 knots. Continue to tie a row of square knots. When we are done, pick both strings and cross each other. Place the last 25cm string at the cross and form a large head knot so that it can form a closed circle now. Tighten strings from both left and right side of the last lock hits knot and continue with a square knot on the next row. 
with reference to the stitch marker pins, form a rectangle. Go on to make another row of square knots at each of the four sides. We will continue to use two cords from each side to make a square knot at the four corners. We are about to attach the photo ID pocket frame to the wallet. From the corner square knot at each side, take two cords out. This will allow you to have a total of 10 sets of 4 cords. We will be placing these 10 sets of 4 cords into the holes. From the wallet flap where we made the joining earlier, identify the center 10 holes. With a piece of wire, I will poke through the first hole, place 4 cords through it and pull from below. Repeat this process for the rest of the 9 holes. This will be how it should look like after you are done. Tie a knot and cut off the rest. Do this for the whole row. We will tidy up the opening of the photo ID pocket now. Leave out cords from both corners. Using a piece of 30cm, we will do a row of hitch knot across. After all the hitch knots, leaving out the added string, we are cutting away the yarns. Cut as close as possible. Thereafter, apply super glue. Do this for the whole row. Get a piece of transparent plastic measuring 10 cm by 7 cm. We are going to sew the plastic on. Do ensure that you are sewing from the inside of the pocket. I will be sewing 3 knots for the long side and 1 knot on the short side. Total 8 knots around the plastic. Do remove the pins after sewing. We shall hide the side strings now. Allow the strings to fall naturally. For the first two string, it will be near the row which we have sewn on previously. For the rest of the strings, drop them into 7 holes in a straight line down. For my wallet, I have poked through mostly 4 strings each hole, except for the 6th and 7th hole, I have 3 and 2 strings respectively. Once you are done, tie knots and cut off the rest. Do the same process for both sides. The wallet will have two card pockets. Each pocket will require 23 pieces of 50cm cords. Hence, for two pockets, you will need a total of 46 pieces of 50 cm cords. For each pocket, we start by laying one piece horizontally and thereafter tie up 22 pieces using Lutz head knot. Continue with 11 rows of square knots. Do the same for the two pockets. Let's fit in the two cut pockets now. Referencing to the stitch marker, we will attach the first pocket in the first hole on the fourth row down. And the end of the pocket should also reach the last hole on the same row nicely. Again with the help of the wire, I will get the two strings in. Thereafter, 
Using a big plastic craft needle, I will sew down the sides. Hiding of the end strings next. On the pocket, we have ended with 11 square knots. From where we last poked in the side string, count diagonally down by two holes. The first set of four strings should fall nicely into them. Thereafter, the 10 sets following will also go into the subsequent 10 holes in the same row. With my wire, I will now put through the strings into the 11 holes. Ensuring that the right surface is facing outwards, we are going to repeat exactly what we have done for the second pocket, but just two rows down. Turn over, tie knots from this first and second pocket and cut. After all cutting has been completed, we shall flip it back to the correct side. Put through a big craft needle and we shall sew the sides. The string where it is coming out from should match nicely to the stitch marker pin below. We will sew through each big matching hole two times. Do tuck all the frays inwards so to have them all hidden. Sew along the remaining length till it reaches the two cuts pocket. Towards the end, I will use my wire and have the end of the string tucked inside. Do tie a knot before snipping off the rest. I have tied two knots so as to make sure that they are really secured. Now onto the other string from the left side of the photo ID pocket. Put the string through a big craft needle. The string should nicely meet the two stitch marker pins. We will poke through the three layers. We will do whip stitch to the top of the photo ID pocket and thereafter whip stitch back down. Do have the phrase tucked in and hidden from view. When you reach the point where we started, we will leave a folding hole for the bank notes compartment. As such, only sew whip stitch along the outer cover. We will begin to sew the two layers together when we reach the pink and purple stitch marker pins. Again, have whip stitch all the way down and back up or to a point whereby your string is too short. To end, Tuck the string inside the wallet just like how we did earlier, inside the banknotes compartment. Mm -hmm. 
We are done. Remove all remaining stitch marker pins. The wallet is completed with two card pockets, a pocket behind the photo ID, a photo ID pocket, and a big bank notes compartment. Please support me by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon to get notified on my new content. And if you like my videos, please excite me with the like button and also share the video with your friends.